Hi guys, it's Tanya Emma and welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing a review today on this Outre wig, part of their Color Bomb collection. Her name is Giovanna. I got the wrong color, okay? And I picked this up from Wig Types and the colors, it's just, it's hard to read. But this is the Pika 30 with the 27 613 on top. As you can see my face, I do not like the way this wig is styled or the color i did not even mean to get this so i'm thinning her out and then straightening her out guys i'm like trying to make this wig work because i'm like it's not it wasn't cheap it was under 30 dollars before the shipping and taxes um but i was trying to make her more of a modern style because the curls plus the color just made it look way too country it was country bumpkin i was not about to i was not about to walk out the house with that wig on so what I did was straighten her out. I decided to add some layers in the front. And I'm not good at cutting. I'm not good at cutting, guys. But, you know, I made it work. And I'm just showing you... Um, I wanted to show you guys that when you curl a wig, you want to hold it for longer than you would hold um, natural hair. So you're going to see in the next clip after I finish butchering this wig... <laughs> JK, I did a good job. And these scissors were really good. I got them from my local beauty supply store. But yeah, when you curl a wig, you definitely want to hold the curling iron or hold the heat on the end. Uh, mind you, my my video, I'm fast forwarding. Um, but you definitely want to hold it because it will drop so quick. And that's why I have my hand there because I kind of like keep it bumped with my hand. So it can cool down in that position. And that's why you want to put your hand there just to hold it. Um, but yeah, that's just typically how you do that. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for my final thoughts. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to come downstairs because upstairs is um, the baby has taken over the room. <laughs> But yeah, I chopped and screwed this wig totally. I did not expect for it to go this way. Um, but once I start something, I gotta finish it. Um, <laughs> so just to give you, if I mean, obviously you've seen what the wig was like before, but this is what she looked like before. I have this color. And I just thought she looked so country um the curls were country the color was really odd i did not mean to get that color i meant to actually get the main color that was on the stock card and i picked the wrong one and when i got it i was like oh this is i don't like when the lighter color is on the top and the under color is darker i don't like that um so i was trying to like make it you know here let me just do a 360. so this is what she looks like um, I struggled with the cut. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a hairstylist, guys. I'm not a hairstylist. So, it's like, you know, it's, the cut is a little funky. I was trying to obviously create that cut, um, that, you know, everybody wears, uh, with the, I guess, I call it the Aaliyah trim, like the layered look in the front. Which I think it's a nice, I did a good job. I did not glue her down because, but you can't tell. Because um, I'm going to do another wig review after this. Yeah. Tell me what you think, if I mess it up, if I did a good job. Um, new lashes adding to my lash line, Love and Love and Beauty. These are called Vice. They're the biggest ones I've added. Other ones, I do have some smaller ones. But I love my girls who love the big, la big, big lashes. I got you. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.